Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And we all know the dangers of stepping on the snap-on truck. Well, this is my latest injury right here. It's this really nicely made, innovative, snap-on, cord-free, 3 to 24 volt uh, DC circuit tester. And uh, the part number on this is the EECT200. What this does is it tells you whether or not you've got a complete circuit, anything from uh, 3 to 24 volts. Now, I got this because, well, this one wasn't meeting my needs a whole lot anymore. It's old school. In fact, it's way old school with uh, the brass, or I think that's brass, uh, end plug here. If I take that out, it might be in too tight now, but I can open it up and there's nothing but a little light inside, spring-loaded, pretty crude. Um, does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, but the problem with these is can you trust them? And I do trust this, but sometimes I can't tell if it's working and I'll show you that here. Um, so it's doing its job, it's just too old. Um, it's been modified, did not have uh, you know, a replacement. I was hoping to throw in a brand new one, no go. But he talked me into this and Basically, this is a, um, a more complex one. Maybe this is analog, this is digital kind of way to think about it. There's an onboard battery inside this. I like the transparency. Uh, and this uses a carbon-infused plastic uh, in this area here. So as long as you're touching this, you and you're touching a ground to the vehicle, you are basically part of the circuit. So all it needs is to um, have the... Uh, the other side, the positive side. So if I'm holding a negative right here, which would be the same as touching the vehicle, then as soon as I touch uh, anything positive, it's lighting up, it's giving me a loud indicator. Um, it doesn't work if I'm not touching that, so you have to, you know, see, as soon as I touch this um, up here, then it works again. But can I trust it? So far, it's all it's it's doing what it I'm expecting it to. Now I use these not only on vehicles but RVs and solar systems. If I'm working with solar panels and stuff like that, um, or any of my 12 volt stuff. Although this does run from 3 to 24 volts, and I'm running it off a of nine here. Now uh, this one, what did it do? Well, not a whole lot. Um, first of all, um, if I connect this to my ground. Um, and then touch my lead, you can see there is a very weak light there. That's the extent of it. Obviously, in daylight um, or from a distance, I can't really tell, or even around a corner or something, because it's not enough to illuminate the space. So sometimes if I'm working back behind something, it's more of a reflection that I see. So this one, you know, is limited. Plus, I've got to attach it to a ground somewhere. And sometimes on RVs, there's not a really good ground location because everything's made of plastic and, you know, press board and staples. But either way, this just seemed like a great new technology. Um, I had known about it, and um, I've also heard people say the jury's kind of still out or it has limitations, etc. But... This is where I run into why I, why I wanted it versus just the updated version of this. Um, I showed you if I hook up, I'm gonna connect this high-tech electronic circuit here. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, if I've got this thing, whoops, wrong way. That's something else. I can only go one way with this. This one works either direction. Um, this I've gotta have the ground um, I'm touching the ground. No, I had that right. I'm touching the ground and I need the, let me double check here if my wrench is going to work. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to just hook that in here. I guess I didn't have good contact. So I can uh, easily touch this, um, do it up here to my wrench. This kind of gets in the way, this little cap works fine. I'm going to connect another wrench and another wrench and another wrench and come out here. Am I getting my contact here? Where, you, oh, that one wasn't touching. It's floating up above it. There we go. Come here. Come on. Maybe I should build a real circuit, huh? What's it doing? Whoops, maybe it's user error on this end. Where is it? Okay, that one's working. That one's working. 
There's my problem. Real life here. I'm going to put it under. There we go. There we go. So I actually did a circuit test right here. So I'm going to hold this. You can see way out here, I'm getting excellent contact through chrome plating. Um, very simple. Now, when I use this one, and in this case, I'll just clip it to that wrench there and go out here. Well, first I'll do this wrench. Am I getting anything? Oh, I need to... Uh, sorry about that. The way this one works, i got to touch stuff. Um, so I am going to uh, clip this here, not to the wrench, my mistake. And then I'm going to test it here. Okay, you can see that it is working. It's coming on. It's magnetic too. What if I come over here? No. You see that's pretty weak. Sometimes it comes on. Maybe add a little juice to it. There we go. I had it for a second. Wonder why it's not. There we go. That's my contact there. What about over here? And, you know, that's pretty... I don't even know if you can... Can you see that? It's coming on just barely. We'll get way out here. This one... Actually, I've lost it at this point. I think it might be my, my high-tech circuit. Oops, something shorted out. That's it. <laughs> Felt the heat. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there we go, lit lit there. As I get further away, it gets dimmer, and sometimes I can't quite tell if it's turning on. So I decided I'd, you know, enter the 21st century and get some of this high-tech stuff. Now, because this has an onboard battery, then it can afford to give you that loud sound and bright light. It's not powered here. I don't know about the replacement on the battery. I assume it'll last quite a while, but there is a way to get in. I'm not sure what that battery is, might say somewhere. It's smaller than a 123, and there's a bit of a magnification effect. So maybe, I think there's like a CR2 I use in range finders and stuff like that that might be it. But anyway, I, I like it so far. Um, I don't have a reason not to trust it. Um, you always want to be testing these as you go, making sure that it works with some known. Um, but it does open up the ability to test uh, much much easier, much faster, much further away, and possibly with much more confidence. Anyway, let me know if you've got experience with these or if you're curious about them. Um, I, so far, I'm impressed. It's a great, great tool as long as you use it right. I have not tried it covering my fingers in grease. Obviously, gloves are out. You know, maybe, yeah, I assume they're out, not even the ones you can touch cell phones with. But overall, um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. And with that, Doc out.